Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here with DarkGadgets.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the AT&T Nokia Lumia 1020. The Lumia 1020 is Nokia's latest high-end Windows phone. The device sports a 41 megapixel peer view camera, 4 GLTE support, and a 4.5 inch 1280x768 clear black AMOLED display with super sensitive touch which allows you to use gloves or nails to touch the screen. If you have held a Nokia Lumia in the past, then this one isn't very different except for the fact that it has a camera extruding from the back. The camera actually doesn't add much bulk to the phone, but it does make it difficult to use on a table because of the wobble. The phone is a white slab of matte polycarbonate which is soft to the touch and makes the device look and feel premium. On the right we have a volume rocker along with a sleep and wake and camera button. Up top we have the SIM card slot and headphone jack. On the bottom we have the micro USB port, speaker grill and a little loop to attach a lanyard. Lastly on the front of the device there's an AT&T and Nokia logo, a front facing camera and the standard trio of Windows phone capacitive buttons at the bottom. There is a dual core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 and 2 GB of RAM in the device which allow it to run smoothly without stuttering. Everything I downloaded ran perfectly and all of the apps that came with the device did too. Despite being a high-end phone, it does not have as good a screen as the phones it's competing against, but you have to actually get really close to even notice the pixels. The device runs Windows Phone 8 which actually looks pretty sweet. The live tiles display important information without having to open apps and you can change the accent and background of the device depending on your mood. The Windows Store has an okay selection of apps and games. Most games are old which don't take advantage of the phone's capabilities, but as far as apps go, you'll be able to find the most popular ones like Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare, Netflix, etc. The device has a 2000 mAh battery which surprisingly lasted me a whole day except for when I started taking a lot of pictures. There are a few options that you can toggle to save battery but I didn't feel the need to use them. The thing about the device is that it makes you want to take pictures of everything because you know they're going to look good and most of the time when I thought they were going to look good they did look good. Pictures that you share from the device will be 5 megapixel versions. If you want to share the high res version then you're going to need to transfer them to a computer and then from the computer you can send them to whatever network you'd like. The Lumia comes with a few camera apps from Nokia to take advantage of the camera. First we have Nokia Pro Cam which is the one that is launched when you click the shoot button since it's the one that you're going to use most of the time. The app allows you to control most aspects of the camera like the white balance, ISO, shutter speed and exposure or you could also just put everything on auto and let the software do the work. Most of the time the photos will look great but there are some circumstances where the camera is completely off so you'll have to tweak the settings to get the picture that you wanted in the first place. I took a few pictures with both the 1020 and iPhone 5 so you can see the difference. Next we have the Nokia Smart Cam. This one lets you take a sequence of shots and then it gives you the best shot, action shot, motion focus, and the ability to change faces or remove objects. Lastly we have Nokia Cinemagraph which is actually pretty neat. It allows you to choose a part of a picture to animate and can lead to some really creative work. As far as video goes it's okay. The back camera records at full HD and the front at regular HD. The stabilization makes the video look weird but the color reproduction is quite good. The Lumia 1020 is a great phone, but not good enough to make someone like me switch to Windows Phone. The hardware is awesome, but Microsoft is still playing catch up. 
they need to get more developers to develop apps for the platform. If you are someone who doesn't use a lot of apps on a regular basis, already a Windows Phone user or a photographer, then you are really going to enjoy this phone, which you can get in matte yellow, black, or white for $300 on a two-year contract, or unsubsidized for $659.99. Thank you for watching this video and AT&T for letting us borrow the device to review. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.